it is an absolutely gorgeous day here in Alaska and I'm gonna try and catch some hooligan. And hooligan are the first fish of the year. Everything's very seasonal here in Alaska and these hooligan come in from the ocean into the rivers and they're the very first fish to do that. So we're gonna take these hooligan and use them as bait for a big camping fishing trip I've got planned this week. Welcome to Turnigan Arm, one of the most extreme tides in the world here. They get a 32 foot tide. Over that way is the Pacific Ocean, the Gulf of Alaska and Cook Inlet. And it comes in here to Turnigan Arm and there's a series of glacial rivers up that way that the hooligan are heading towards. That's a hooligan right there. There's one. That's more than enough right there. There's a guy just upstream of me that's doing pretty good. I'll go over and chat with him real quick. Oh, look at that. <laughs> nice, nice. Good little hole right here. Yeah, it is. Oh my goodness. So when we uh, smoke them at home, yeah. You make oil out of them. Oh yeah, yeah. And you put them in cookers, uh, cook them down for several days, and skim the oil off the top. What do you use the oil for? Just cooking? Cooking, no. preserving food. Kind of like seal oil, kind of like this. Like seal oil. Yeah. All right, now that I got bait, I'm gonna pick up my son Jacob, and we're gonna go camping and fishing for three days. You ready to do some fishing? Excellent. fish to cook up too. But first things first, we got about an hour jog through some of the most gorgeous landscape in North America. underwater cliff at about 400 feet and it looks like a good spot to try for some shrimp so we're gonna drop some shrimp pots hey we got these little bait cages I'm gonna fill them up with chopped up hooligan shrimp pellets and herring oil got some of our fresh hooligan Okay, 
gonna go head out deeper and see if we can find some fish in over a thousand feet of water. We're gonna be fishing between 500 to 1500 feet of water using two to four pound lead. So you can't do it by hand. It's just brutal to try to reel that up. And checking your baits and things like that just become a massive chore unless you've got an electric reels. We've got a two pound lead weight here. You see, basically I just got two hooks with these little blinking lights on them. As soon as they get wet, they activate and they'll attract fish deep down in the darkness. Got two nice chunks of squid on our hooks. I'm gonna drop this down. Right now we're at about 450 feet of water. It's gonna take about a minute for that two pound lead to get all the way to the bottom. There we go. All right, let's go get another run out. Oh yeah, he's on there. Okay, watch this, Jake. You ready? Okay. Look at that. And it's going down the middle. Isn't that cool? It's gonna take a couple minutes to reel this thing up. All right, we've done about a minute and a half and we just got halfway up. All right, Jake, you wanna, you wanna reel it? Here, come here. You got that? Oh, that's heavy. Is it a soap? Oh, I can see something. Look at that, I think it's a baby halibut. Oh, what? look at that. Little baby chicken halibut. Do you want to keep them or send them back? Keep them. All right. We've been fishing about five minutes and we already caught a halibut. Well, we've been drifting around for about an hour since we caught that little halibut. And not much has happened since then. So we're going to pick up and try another spot. Jake, do you want to try reeling up the rods? Yeah. Here, go reel up your rod. This way here, or here. that way? Right this. See this? Just watch your fingers. Don't let your fingers get caught in them. There's 650 feet of line out here. It's gonna take a while to pull those up. Oh, look at this. We oh. got a fish. Oh, there's a little baby fish on here. That is a... My first rockfish. Yeah, that's a dusky rockfish. A little tiny one, but he's a tasty fish. I'll put him in the ice box. First mate, Jake, get in your seat. All right, is this fun, Jake? Yes. Yeah, yeah, it is. All right, guys, we went a little deeper. We're in about a thousand feet of water. Okay, bombs away. 989 feet. Oh, that looks like a fish, Jake. We were getting, we were getting, yeah, that's a bite right there. That was a bite. Go check it, buddy. Claiming how? Yeah, you know how. Um, look at your, look how much yours is that. Whoa. I think you might have something on there, Jake. All right. Oh. Oh, oh, stop. Oh. Oh, we got a mess, that's what we got. All right, the shrimp pot's been in the water for about three hours now. We're just gonna check it and see if there's anything in it. If there is, we're gonna throw it back and let it sit overnight. If not, go try another spot. Beautiful prize. All right. Oh, look at that. That is cool. Well, I mean, that's not the most amazing pole ever, but that's not bad for just three hours. 
I think we need to just go put our pots back and let it sit overnight and we'll get a bunch of these tomorrow. What do you think, Jake? I think we're going to get lots of All right, we're gonna let that sit all night long. Should we start getting ready for bed? Yes. This is how soldiers get ready for bed. That's how soldiers get ready for bed. That's right. Oh, yes, so. You're all soldier jammies. Got all camoed up. Well, it's getting late, so we're going to find a spot close to our shrimp pots where we can anchor up for the night. And uh, we're just going to fish and cook and take it easy and just have a good night here on the boat. Okay, hold on a second. I got to drop the anchor. All right guys, well since we're anchored up, I'm gonna make a little chum bag and we're gonna chum this spot up and fish while we cook and camp and it'll be real nice. And when you, and folks definitely like eating that. Yeah, we've got a, like a four pound lead and a snagging hook. Like a four pound lead and a snagging hook. The snagging hook's got the Ziploc bag through the tough part. On the bottom, reel it up. There you go, it just tears a hole, all the chum goes out, the garbage comes back up. Yeah. Oh, are you going to set something on fire? Mm -hmm. Well, put it down. Oh, I think I got a fish on here. Hey, look, Jake, this rod just got a bite too. Oh, look at this. Oh, yes. A rockfish. That's a quillback rockfish. That is a delicious fish. Not a huge one, but definitely a keeper. Oh yeah, we got one. Look at this. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's a yellow-eyed rockfish. Whoa. Another tasty fish. The spots turned out to be pretty good for the rockfish. Those shrimp are good, aren't they? Mm hmm Oh, that cocktail sauce hit this spot too. Mm. Yeah. Ooh, those are tasty shrimp. Mm. I hope we catch a whole bunch more of those. Mm -hmm. Oh, ho, ho, rice pudding. It looks good. It is so good. You like it? Oh, hey, there's a shrimp. Keep you warm tonight. There you go. We're gonna keep you warm. All right, let's get you to bed. Ah. Hey you. Hey you. Here's your blinky. You need to get to bed in there, okay? Oh, I am embarrassed to say it is 11 o'clock and Jacob is still up. We. We have got to get that little boy to sleep and I have got to get some rest too because we have a full day of fishing tomorrow. I will see you guys in the morning. Good morning. You sleep good, Jake? Well, it is gorgeous out here. Oh, 
These are a tasty fish, but you're only allowed one per day. So I think I've got to go ahead and send him back. He's in pretty good shape. I'm going to go ahead and use this deep releaser. Go and hook the fish's mouth like this. Ooh. When you pull a fish up for more than about 60, 70 feet, he gets what's called barotrauma, where his air bladder expands from coming up from the deep pressure and it, and it makes it so they can't swim down. You just take it down there, shake them off, reel it up. Pacific octopus, that's a small one, but they are tasty. Me and Jake got to catch and cook some of those just a few weeks ago. I'm looking forward to doing that again. Oh, look at all the lice. Ugh. Good morning, Jacob. gonna try something a little different we're gonna fish a little bit shallower we're in just 200 feet here we're gonna see if we can pick up some rockfish but jigging there we go got a fish look at that giant sculpted right there It picked up just a little bit. I don't like it. I think I'm gonna go find another spot. Ready to go for a drive, Jake? All right, we're gonna just try a quick drop here. Oh, 330 feet to go. Ooh. Oh, check it out, it's a yellow-eyed rockfish. Oh, you got one, Jake? Oh no, it's a kelp greeling. You want to throw it back? Here. Bam, just got another one right away. Oh, nice. Oh, -ho! a dusky rockfish. Oh, another yellow eye. Look at that. Thick here. There you go, Jake. Yeah. Sure yeah, yeah. Oh, another yellow eye. Is it? Is it a dusky or is it a quillback? I think it's a dusky. Oh, it's a dusky rockfish. Perfect. There we go, a dusky. It's a little golden eye, and you. 
Man, this has been a nice little honey hole. We probably pulled 12 rockfish out of here. So I'm gonna pull up and just move down this coast and try a few more spots and see if we can't get into some dusky rockfish or maybe some lean cod and maybe some halibut. We got a couple bites on this. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Here, go. Hold on. What do you think it is? What do you think it is? Oh, look at that monster. What is that? Oh, look at this. A massive yellow eye. Look at that. Before. Yeah. Look at that. That is a big one. Look at look at the size of him. Like I think we're gonna keep this one. Check it out. We're in the middle of Prince William Sound. The Gulf of Alaska is just right over there. And it is just quiet and calm as glass out here. Look at look at this water. Oh, oh, look at that. Yeah, he's on there. Okay, I know some of you guys may think these electric reels are cheating. I love them. I'm absolutely spoiled. I may never go back. This is so nice. Oh, yes. Look at that beauty. Oh. You can see coming up from the depth absolutely trashes the fish. It makes their eyeballs pop out. See his liver, his air bladder have come out. But luckily that one is super tasty. So uh, he ain't going back. <laughs> oh my goodness, these things make amazing fish tacos. Oh, I am, I am pleased. You know, these electric reels just let me fish spots I would never fish otherwise. Cranking up four pounds of lead over 600 feet is miserable stuff. These electric reels let you get to spots that no one else is really touching. Pretty pitiful. Look at this. See? It's got a little creature in it. I'm gonna put fresh bait in all of these and uh, we're gonna go try a different spot. some dinner going here. I want to eat some shrimp. These shrimp are just massive. Oh, they're so delicious. Chocolate milk. Like, oh yeah. Milk. I'm making chocolate milk right now. That's soldier chocolate milk. Yeah. You like that? Yeah. Look at the size of these shrimp. These things are huge. So good. Love you, babe. 
Oh, those hooligan made great bait. I'm almost out of all the hooligan I caught. Oh, look at this. Uh, A nice cool back rockfish. One, two, three. Because the rockfish kind of inflate like balloons when you bring them up from the depth, you have to use these deep water releasers to get them back down. Once they get down to depth, they go back to their normal size and buoyancy and they can swim away. So basically you just put this through their bottom lip, send them down. When they get to the bottom, you shake the fish off the hook, bring the hook back up. Alrighty. Okay, hop in there. All right, lay down, buddy. Lay down, it's bedtime. Well, it's been a wonderful day, but it's late and I've got to get to bed. I'll see you guys in the morning. We, we lucked out with the weather on this trip. I think this calls for a little more fishing. Um, yeah, let's do that. I'm gonna go pull anchor. First mate, Jacob, shall we go find a fishing spot? No. Let's do it. We're in a little bit shallower water. It's only about 500 feet here, so I'm going to use my weighted jig with a hooligan head on it. See how this goes. Hey, check it out. It's the Kennecott. That's the ferry that goes from Washington State to Whittier, Alaska. Me and Jacob spent five days on that ship. It was part of our longest road trip in the United States video, where we drove from Key West, Florida to Dead Horse, Alaska. It was a good time, Jacob. Yes, it was. That was a fun trip. <laughs> oh, oh, what do we got? Oh, nice dusky rockfish on the hooligan. Oh, got another one. There you go, another little dusky. Oh, -ho, another dusky. Dang, we're into them now. Hey, Jake, I got a big fish. Yeah, yeah, you're a fighter too. Oh, there you go, Jake. That's your, that's your rockfish. That's a beauty. Well, guys, this has been fun, but we're out of time. We got to go back and check those shrimp pots. And I gotta get things all cleaned up. Let's go pull a shrimp pot. up about 25 30 shrimp that'll be very nice for dinner tonight huh we made it hi Guys, are back at the house and it's time to cook up some seafood. Check this out. It's so fresh, it's still moving. Hey guys, so well. Oh, I'm serving the fish with this homemade ginger black bean sauce that I made. Just keep a big jar of it. All right, guys, you ready for dinner? Let's do dinner. This is a uh, ginger black bean garlic sauce for the fish. 
What do you think? You like the fish? Yeah. The shrimp was the good part, wasn't it? The shrimp was yes. the shrimp was really good. Well, listen, guys, that was a fun trip. Hopefully, you enjoyed this video as much as we enjoyed catching those fish. If you guys want to see more videos from the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel, make sure to click subscribe. We put out new videos every Saturday morning. If you like this video, don't forget to check out the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel where we have hundreds of videos just like this. And don't forget to click subscribe so you can see other great videos every Saturday morning. And hit that bell button and you'll get notifications. Thanks for watching.